Cora TV. The world is thinking. While I was in Ecuador, I was recruited by a vice president at a company called Charles T. Main, and he was uh, in the Army Reserves uh, liaisoning with the intelligence community. So he had all the information from the NSA. There's a, there's a funny thing going on here. Recruited me to work for this company called Charles T. Main in Boston. And I went and I, I took the job. And uh, then I was trained by this amazing woman named Claudine, who's described in detail in the books. She was very intelligent, very cunning, very seductive. She knew all my weaknesses and used them all and as a hook. And she also told me what economic hitmen do, what I would be expected to do. And in essence, what we do, what we've done since World War II on an increasing basis, is to create the world's first truly global empire. And we've done it primarily without the military, through economics, through economic hitmen. And the way we, well, we work many ways, but perhaps the most common is that we will identify a third world country that has resources our corporations covet, like oil. And then we arrange a huge loan to that country uh, from the World Bank or one of its sister organizations but the money never goes to the country. It goes to our big corporations, like Bechtel across the, the water here. We're, we're on that side of the water, aren't we? Uh, they go to our big corporations that build huge infrastructure projects in this country, power plants, industrial parks, highways and ports, things that benefit a few very rich people, as well as our own corporations, but don't help the majority of the people, because the majority of the people are not connected to the electrical grid. They don't have the skills to get jobs in industrial parks, and they don't get to use the highways or the ports. But this country is left holding a huge debt, and this is by intention. So huge, you can't possibly repay it. So at some point, we go back and say, you owe us a lot of money, can't pay your debt, give us a pound of flesh, sell your oil real cheap to our oil companies, vote with us on the next critical UN vote, send troops to Iraq in support of ours. Most people in the United States seem to believe that these troops that went to Iraq from other countries went in support of Iraq. They didn't. Almost all of them went because they were blackmailed. Their countries were blackmailed into sending them. And in this way, we've created this empire. When we economic hitmen fail, which isn't very often, I failed in, in, in Panama with Omar Torrijos and in Ecuador with Jaime Roldos. I couldn't corrupt these two presidents, couldn't bring them around. And when we fail, the next step is to send in the jackals. And these are men who overthrow governments or assassinate their leaders. Both Omar Torrijos and Jaime Roldos were assassinated by CIA-sponsored jackals because I failed in my job. As we all know what happened to Allende and Arbenz and La Mamba and Diem and Mossadegh and so many others. And so we've created this empire and we've done it in secret. Most of us living in the United States don't realize that this incredible prosperity that we enjoy here is built on an empire, is built on slavery and servitude and tremendous suffering. We don't stop to think about the fact that we represent less than 5% of the world's population and we consume more than 25% of the world's resources. We create more than 30% of the world's pollution. It doesn't take a very brilliant economist, which I never claimed to be, to realize that that is a failed model. 5% of the world's population consuming 25% of its resources, creating more than 30% of its pollution. You can't sell that model to China that has 20% of the world's population, or India with 17%. You can't sell that model to Ethiopia, to Africa, to Asia, to Latin America, to the Middle East, it just doesn't work. It's a failed model. It's not working here. We must change it for the sake of the young children of the world, the unborn children. We absolutely must change it.